Hi, this is Ruth, and welcome to my final week of my Christmas series, 2012, week 12. This week is not a card, it is an ornament. I participated in an ornament exchange with my son's preschool, and so this is what I brought. Um, I saw something on Pinterest, and I kind of made it my own. I will have all the links and supplies on my blog. So I started off with um, an acrylic ornament ball. I didn't want to go with glass, since everyone has young kids so acrylic was a way to go. The image that I use is from Lettering Delights. I think it's Nancy's Party, the holiday version, but I'll have all the information on my blog. It has really, really, really cute designs and images and so the reindeer is adorable. I love the reindeer, I love the teddy bear and everything else. I did a mirror image of these um, little guys so that the ornament would be uh, double-sided. So there would be no backside. I also used acetate. This is from a page protector, and I just cut it up. I actually use my silhouette to cut out these um, shapes, and it actually fits into the ball perfectly. The ball is about two and a half inches in diameter. The transparency acetate thing is about two and a quarter inches in diameter, so it fit in perfectly. So the first thing I did after I cut everything out and cut the transparency and cut the print and cut stuff was to put the images on. I used my Xyron sticker maker and I just ran the little guys through so it would have an even amount of um, adhesive in the back and then I'm pressing it down so that the adhesive gets through the back evenly and I'm ready to put the little guys on it's really hard to see the acetate because it's clear but it is shaped like an ornament a circle with a little top, the very top. So there's one guy on one side, flip it over, and there's the mirror image on the back. So no, um, no back side, I guess. This is a double-sided ornament. So one side, another side. And so I filled the ball with um, some fluff. There's some glitter and um, some iridescent flakes. I used a makeshift funnel. Uh, made with tape and scratch paper. This is the snowflakes that I used. I found it at Michael's. I like it because it's kind of iridescent. And then I use Martha Stewart's uh, coarse glitter, which I really, really like. And I also found, this is cool, glow-in-the-dark glitter. So I added that in too. So that was pretty cool. I filled it up maybe like a quarter of the way up. The tricky part about getting this thing in is that I have to roll roll the little guy in and so um, the print and cut was actually out of Nina Solar White cardstock which is 80 pound cardstock so double that is pretty thick so I had to really be gentle with it it's curved inside so what I did was I took my tweezers and shoved that little guy up against the ball and straightened him out and while I'm doing that I'm kind of nestling him in the snow fluff so um, it works out <laughs> so I'm putting the top back on And there you go. A little ornament. It looks like he's floating in there, sitting in snow, suspended somewhere in the middle. So very, very cute. I really, really like them. So I made a, a whole set. I think I made like 15 of them, all different little characters. Everyone seemed to like the reindeers, so those were gone fast. Here's a couple of them sitting on my table. And then here's one on my tree, the teddy bear. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye.